is Fat Soid here, and I'm playing Salomon Great. We got Salomon Great Gazelle at one. I wish it wasn't. I wish it didn't fucking that was. I wasn't at one. That'd be great. But we're gonna go into some matches. This is the list uh, that I'm using. I'll also have the list in the description below. You just have to click the link, it's to YGO Pro. And we're here in our first game, and we're playing against a loser that uses Maxi. So, we're playing against D D D D D D D. These nuts. So, Jack in the hand. Fuck, dude. Looks like luck is a fuck. That was a horrible. So I picked Kepler because uh, Kepler is the best card in their like opener that they have usually. But he had a Kepler in his hand, so I guess better lucky than good. Can only play with what you know, and what I know is Kepler was a good choice. Alright, so he's going to activate all his shit. Boom, go into his second Genghis Kong. And then he's going to go into Gilgamesh. And we counter the Gilgamesh. He's going to be able to go into the high wave crash. King guy. The XZ monster that really fucks us over. But he's going to be able to do that anyway. Even if we countered G Genghis. He would have been able to do it. Well, by summoning cards from his. Uh, the pendulum zones. So not that big of a deal. It is kind of annoying though. This card's really annoying to deal with. He's gonna attack me. Boom, that hurt. My little bussy dude's fucking taking a pounding. And, but I get to draw two cards and Nibiru him, but he has Wave High King. Just counters it. He's gonna get full value off this motherfucker, but what we're gonna plan to do, I already have in my head right now, is we're gonna go into Horsey and then link off Horsey so we can bounce this back so he doesn't get the, the search. We don't want him to get the Dark Contract. See, this is the nice thing, since I do so many deck profiles, I know what all these decks do now. Like, I know it pretty well. It's one good thing, like, that's why I always say, play... Play as many decks as you can possible, because it'll teach you how to beat other decks, if that makes sense. So, we're going to play Salomon Great Sanctuary, and then we're going to activate Spinny to bait High King. And he took the bait because he is, like I said, a cuck. And we're going to sign up mining, get rid of this garbage card out of my hand, and then we add Gazelle. We're going to have to use Sanctuary... Uh, to go into a second Bailinx so we can activate Gazelle's effect from the hand. Special summoning it. We're going to be sending either Jaguar or Falco. Not sure which one I actually send. But we have Sea Archiver in here, specialed. Then we're going to go into Horsey, I assume. Because we got two threes. Yep, beautiful. It's a beautiful Horsey. I'm going to special summon Falco. There's the Falco. We go into Sunlight Wolf. I'm going to activate that. Bounce it back because he's a bitch. Screw him. And then we're going to summon Jaguar. Now we're going to add Spinny to hand. And we have Spinny in hand is because we sent uh, the Gazelle back to deck for Cyanide Mining. And then we go into Baba Boosk. Baba Booska, Bubu Baska, Baba ba, ba. Number 41, whatever you want to call him. Actually, how do you really pronounce it? So, what number 41 does is anytime your opponent special summons a monster, it gets shift to defense position and they cannot act uh, cannot activate their offense as long as they're in face up defense position. So, that being said, I'm not worried about anything. I will be honest. He goes into Axis Code Talker here, and I was not expecting that, but at the same time, he has one link in the graveyard, so I was like, okay, cool. Falco goes to the graveyard, we're able to get Circle, Circle set, boom, we activate Bail Links, we have two of them in the graveyard anyway. And we're like, you know what, you got your Axis Code Talker, I got my Axis Code Talker, let's see who's going to be stronger. We're going to Salomon Circle. We have Foxy, summon Foxy, I'd assume. Cyanite Mining first. Get the Gazelle. Activate the Gazelle. 
this is why mining is like one of the best cards in the deck and why I don't think you should cheap out on it. I know it's an ultra rare, but it's it literally activates Gazelle by itself. And with Gazelle at one, it's almost like a necessity. So we're going to go into Transcode Talker. Bam. That's a big dick. Um... Now we're going to go into Update Jammer. Back into Axis Code Talker. Damn. That's a bigger dick. And if you don't know what Update Jammer does, is when you link monster it to a Cybris monster. Actually, is it just a Cybris monster or is it any monster? It makes them attack twice. Oh, any, any link monster. Yeah, it makes them attack twice, though. Are we about to play against the little bitch boy? I think so. Numeron wall. It's stupid how you can't Ash Blossom that. Really stupid. So he's going to MST me because this is 2004 and he's going to destroy my set card, which kind of made me sad, but at the same time. I wouldn't really stop that much with the Imperm. The only thing that does bother me is if he goes into Appaloza here, I just lose the game now for having Imperm set. So now it makes me think I shouldn't have set Imperm. Usually you want to set Imperm because you want you can uh, possibly get a... Uh, I was being greedy because I could possibly get a spell negate. But he ends up going into Chaos Gate, which is honestly the bee's knees for me. Because uh, all I have to do is OTKO him and he's kind of fucked. <laughs> so we're going to circle. He's going to be like, Maxi! <laughs> I got you now. Ash Blossom. No, you don't. My lolly will fucking destroy your bug, dude. Can't fucking destroy. You can't stop me, dude. I just like to imagine Ash Blossom, the lolly girl, just walking up into a bunch of cockroaches stomping on him. With her bare feet, like a psychopath. Alright. Go to Bailinx. Bailinx effect. Flame Buffalo. So many things are happening. We're going to discard Spinny. Activate Gal uh, Gazelle. Oh, dude. I, I think I'm about to bust. No, but seriously, like... Playing Salomon great, you feel like you're a really good player. And then you realize you're actual trash. But it makes you feel like you are because you're doing so many things. It's like, wow, look at all these combos I'm doing. My opponent doesn't even know what's happening. Dude, the, the, the trick is, though, your opponent might not know what's happening, but neither do you. I'm going to activate Sunlight Wolf. See, right now, I'm like thinking I'm going to go into Horsey and set up for next turn. That's a stupid fucking play. We're going to go into Update Jammer. And then we're going to go into Transcode Talker. And then we're going to activate Transcode, bring back Jammer, go into Access Code Talker. And we're going to show this guy how to really OTKO someone. And like, unlike the cuck shit he did, where he's like, I'm going to attack you with uh, four 1,000 attack monsters, and then I'm going to banish them so I can do 3,000 damage on my next turn. <laughs> and you're dead. No! Alrighty, alrighty, this is the last match we're going to be showing, and this deck we're playing against isn't like a top tier deck or anything. But I thought his deck was kind of cool, like, and it gave me the idea that I might want to make it too. But I want to make my own version, because I don't think his version is that great. I think, I was looking at his list afterwards, it wasn't like, spectacular, you know what I mean? I want to make it so it could actually win games in like, Diamond or something. Actually, I need to hit Diamond on my main account. I've just been uh, so busy doing these videos on uh, secondary accounts. Uh, we're going to go into Horsey. Horsey's going to go into Falco. Falco's going to go into another Bailinx. Bailinx. Here we go. And then we're going to use Bailinx to get Sanctuary. You know why I actually did this? I actually remember why I did this. I did this because I accidentally hit no on the first Bailinx. Because my dumbass just keeps fucking clicking and I have a problem and I can't stop. Uh, comment down below if you do this too, if you have, uh, issues mentally, uh, and it causes you to do that. Because I, I literally keep doing it over and over and over. 
We're gonna bring back Jaguar because we're fucking cool. Plus, Jaguar looks badass, doesn't he? Jack Jaguar. Gonna go into Appaloza. I didn't set called by the grave because I'm a loser. I also didn't set it because I was afraid they had a Harpies or a Lightning Storm or some shit. That way, if they had a Lightning Storm, I'd only be really losing uh, Imperm and just really losing Imperm because uh, I'm pretty sure Bailinx can protect Sanctuary. But you can see he's playing Cosmo. Pretty cool. Pretty hype. But then Appaloza can just negate it. And then it becomes sad. Then it becomes sad. Like, look, he can't do anything now. He's like, aww. And then I add a card. Now I have, like, God Hand for next turn. Poor baby, dude. Poor baby. We go into Fox. We hit a card. We hit Circle. Oh man, this is why we activate circles, just so we can find another circle. Just to BM our opponent even more, so they're like, Oh my god, he's so powerful, I can't stop him. And then we go into Heat Low, because I'm like, I don't know what that card is. He might be so running some weird shit. I don't want to run into a Mirror Force. Imagine it's a Mirror Force and I get just absolutely cucked. We don't even get to see what it is. Gonna use Gazelle, send Roar to the graveyard. Honestly, none of this even matters. Could I have gone for an OTKO? Possibly. Probably. I 100% could have. Honestly, part of the reason that stopped me from going OTKO is that I would have to link off Appaloza, and if I did that, I would have no defense against the Beer. And he concedes. Get destroyed. I want to thank you all for letting us hit 500 subs. This is amazing. Now in a week, we will get a community tab where I will post a Discord where we can do death discussion. We can bounce ideas to see what we should do for future videos. This is going to be great. But now, me and my partner have been talking about it. This is my partner, Charmander. Char Char Shut the fuck up, Charmander. And I just wanted to say, don't mind him anything. He he's fine. But if we hit a thousand subs, I'm doing a two hundred dollar giveaway. We hit a thousand subs, I will hit do a two hundred dollar giveaway on the next video. Not this next video, the the next video after hitting two thousand a thousand subs. And that two hundred dollars, I think I might just do straight PayPal. So just to make things easy. I don't know. I appreciate you all, and I am so happy you guys still follow me and you guys have been watching my deck profiles. I'm trying to get better. I'm not the best at editing, so bear with me. I'm still learning. Thank you all, and goodbye.